So, Nick, have you decided which college you're going to yet? You're starting to sound like my old man. Speaking of which, how you folks doing? Same as always. We're catching dogs. Yeah. Pretty bad, huh? I'm not too bad. But when it does, I'll just stay here with you till things cool down. <laughs> just like old times. You hang in there, young buck. You only got a couple of more weeks and you'll be off to college. I can't wait to shake the dust off this town and get out of the real world. Yeah, you're going to be shaking things up, huh? I'm going to do something important. Something that matters, you'll see. Just don't you forget to write. Always. <laughs> you know, you and this diner are the only things I'm going to miss about this town, George. I'll, I'll tell you, this place is... I'll have the roast pork tenderloin with applesauce and mashed potatoes. It isn't ready yet. What the hell you put it on the card for? That's the dinner. It's not ready until six o'clock. And it's only five o'clock. Clock says twenty minutes past five. It's twenty minutes past. The hell with the clock. What have you got to eat? Oh, I can make you any kind of sandwiches. Ham and eggs, bacon and eggs, bacon, bacon, or steak. Got anything to drink? Soda, iced tea, milk. I mean, you got anything to drink? Just those I said. This is some town. What do they call it? Summit. You're a pretty bright boy, aren't you? <laughs> well, you're not, is he, Al? He's dumb. What's your name? Adams. Another bright boy. This town is full of bright boys. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. What the hell you were? You were looking at me. Maybe the boy meant it for a joke, Max. You don't have to smile. You don't have to smile at all, see? All right. So he thinks it's all right. Oh, he's a thinker. What about the other bright boy down the counter? Hey, you. Go around the counter with your boyfriend. kitchen with the chef and the other bright boy. Go on back, chef. You go with him, bright boy. Why don't you say something? What's it all about? Well, we're gonna kill the Swede. You know the big Swede? John Anderson? Yeah. He used to be a boxer. From Chicago. Comes here every night to eat, don't he? What are you gonna kill John Anderson for? What did he ever do to you? 
or obliging a friend. Shut up! You talk too goddamn much. Well, I gotta keep him amused. Don't I? Hello, George. Can I get supper? Sam's going up. He'll be gone for about a half an hour. Yeah, wait. Sam might be gone a little longer than a half an hour. Why don't you go up to Mary O'Dell's? I hear she's served great beef stew. Ah, I hate her stew. Stinks. <laughs> I heard it got better. <laughs> Cut it out, George. Making me feel like you don't want my business. I'm sorry, the diner's closed. You trying to get rid of me? The diner's closed. That was nice. You're a regular little performer. He's not good. We'll give him ten minutes. Why don't you just let it go? I told you. We're obliging a friend. Well, why don't you just tell your friend you couldn't find him? Oh, was that it? I should just lie to my friend. It's better than committing murder. We gave our word. We'd do the job. Your brother kill and break your word? Hell of a thing. Not keeping your word. People get killed because they don't keep their word. You screw up. You should pay for it. Well, maybe he was afraid. Cowards don't deserve to live. You start something, you ought to have the guts to finish it. That's not right. Paying for a mistake with a life? You don't make the rules. I just live by them. So, that's it then? That's it. What do you care if the Swede lives or dies? Is he your best friend or something? He's a good customer. I can see you stick your neck out for your customer. I for anybody. Well, aren't you the hero? Come on, hero. You can go in the kitchen. Make us some sandwiches. Bright boy can do everything. He can cook and everything. You'd make some girl a nice wife. Your friend isn't going to come. Fine. Then tell us where he is. I don't know where he is. Al. Now let's try that again. And don't tell us that in this small hick town, everybody doesn't know where everybody else lives. Now where's the Swede? He lives at the Baxter's apartment building, on the other side of town. If you were lying... Well, I'd blow his goddamn head off. Fine. Come on, Al. What about the two bright boys and the chef? They're all right. You think so? Sure. We're through with it. I don't like it. It's too sloppy. You talk too much. Well, we've got to keep them used, haven't we? So long, bright boy. You got a lot of luck. That's the truth. You gotta play the races. George. What the hell? 
But you give up John all those thugs. I sent them clear across town on the opposite side from John. That's the only thing I could think of. So they're gone? Yeah, they're gone now. Why didn't they kill us before they left? Because they're professionals and they know what they're doing. Yeah, well, I don't like any of it. Listen, somebody better go warn John. Hey, you better not have anything to do with it at all. Just stay out of it. We have to help John. Getting yourself mixed up in this is not going to get you anywhere. Now just stay out of it, kid. I'll go see him. You should run to the police and let them know. Forget it. I'm not getting involved. I'm not putting myself on the line for someone I don't even know. For all we know, they could be waiting right outside, just ready to shoot some damn fool trying to play a hero. Never mind. Where does he live? Little boys always know what they want to do, George. He lives up in the Hirsch's apartment building. Maybe I should go instead. Uh, never mind. I'll go. I'll go. I don't know what I was thinking. Send the kid out to do a man's job. No, I'll go. I can get there faster than you can. Hold it up there. Nick! Nick! You damn fool kid! Who is it? Nick Adams. Lynn, it's open. What is it? There's a bit charges, and two guys came in. Said they were gonna kill you. George thought I better come and tell you about it. Don't, don't you wanna go see the police? No. That won't do any good. Maybe it was just a bluff. No, it ain't. Can you get out of town? No, I'm through with all this running around. Can you fix it some way? Is there anything I can do? You want me to lock the door? Doing again. Thanks for coming around. John Anderson? Yeah. He's not coming back. He will. He will. <laughs>